Hi everyone and welcome to our weekly Twin Flame reading. So we're going to see what we need to hear about Twin Flame connections this week, including what's going on with your divine counterpart and some messages from them as well. I'm being guided to actually start with a message from this person this week. So bear in mind that this is a collective Twin Flame reading. Um, so trust your intuition, you'll know if this resonates. So let's see, what is a message from your person this week? Are you going to listen to me? So this person's really questioning whether you two can actually have a conversation because they're not too sure whether you are forgiving them, whether you are ready to talk to them. Like they're saying, look, we're on hold, but I'm coming back to, back for you. But I want to know when I come back, are you actually going to listen to me? Can we like work through these communication blocks or are things going to stay stuck? I'm going to give you an offer soon. So it does seem like if there's been a bit of silence or miscommunication here, then this person is planning to return um, really quite soon. You know, they don't want to to drag this out much longer they're getting lots of like thoughts and feelings here about what they want to happen um so we're gonna see what is this offer and also why things are on hold and to do that i'm gonna use my twin flame tarot deck and um, just bear in mind guys that if you are interested in buying any of my decks you can do so on my etsy store so let's see why are things on hold with this person right now Queen of Pentacles. So this person doesn't feel like they are a match for you right now. They're seeing you in this very abundant and fertile light. They're seeing how successful you are. The Queen of Pentacles is like really self-sufficient. So the reason why things are on hold, it seems to be a time for you, the Divine Feminine, to become more self-sufficient, become more confident and secure and grounded. And a time for the Divine Masculine to like work on their offer because the Queen of Pentacles does not accept crumbs. The Queen of Pentacles only accepts the very best. And it seems like in the past, this person has not been giving you that kind of energy. You know, this person was maybe giving you crumbs. This person was just like, you know, not giving you what you deserve. So things have been on hold here so that you can realize your worth and your counterpart can like match that. Your counterpart can actually like step up and give you what they are meant to. So that's the dog trying to get in. So let's have a quick look. Ten of Swords, yeah. So this really does confirm that this person um, has not been feeling great. You know, the Ten of Swords, like this person's hit rock bottom. This person has been really, really struggling. And it seems like things have been on hold so that they can kind of get out of this, this place and like move move towards the light again and um, there's been a goodbye here or some kind of ending I get the sense that this is on hold but maybe both of you are wondering whether it's going to come back together it could be both of you kind of questioning is this a break or is this over you know that's what seems to be um kind of like what both of you are thinking but let's see let's see what this person's offer is because they're going to make an offer so let's see a bit more about this offer and you'd be Luna she's such a baby saying hello to everyone Luna Okay, be good. So, yeah, this person is going to be making you an offer. So let's see, what is this offer? What is it? So many cards are flying out. And the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, sorry, landed um, face up. So with this Knight of Cups, this person is going to make a romantic offer. This is an attempt to try and win you back. It's an attempt to try and show you that they do appreciate you. They do care about you. Um, lots of other cards flew out, including the King of Swords. So this offer, I feel like it's... Um, Something that they've probably been thinking about for quite some time because the King of Swords is a very logical king. Um, but with that Knight of Cups, it brings the romantic edge to the King of Swords who can be quite cold and detached. So this person clearly wants to overcome some kind of like emotional distance. I feel like they are very good at... Um, 
hiding their emotions or they think they're good at hiding their emotions but yeah this person can be very in their head about things they can be very like logical they can overthink a lot so this person when they make you an offer you know that they thought about it you know that this isn't impulsive this is something that's been on their mind for quite some time and like i said that knight of cups one second <coughs> Oh, that Knight of Cups really brings the romantic edge to this person. So it's going to be a well thought out offer, something which is very charming, very romantic. Um, I do think this person really has to get a grip on their emotions. That's what they've been struggling with. They've been struggling to like accept and understand their feelings lately. And we have the two of wands. So this offer that they make, it does seem to be about making a decision. It seems to be about planning that next step, looking at the long term. So the two of wands here is representing like a crossroads that you and this person are currently at. And they know in their head what they would like to do to get things moving forwards. So they know what their next step is towards you. This person's planned it already. They're not coming in here unprepared. This person has a plan of action and they really do intend to follow that through. So they've made a very big decision about this relationship and um, they're like planning that next step with you. So let's see what this is. Six of Cups. So the next step is really for this person to return to you and, you know, talk about feelings. This is the kind of reconciliation. So this person clearly would like to reconcile with you, um, but they know that there's kind of like a big gap here that they need to bridge. You want to come in and you want to go out. Come here. They know that there is a big gap to bridge between you both. But this Six of Cups is representing all that nostalgia, all the memories that you've made with this person um, and how they would like to make more memories. They really want to, to rebuild this connection with you. Um, I get the sense that this person is going to be basically thinking so much about the past with you like over the next kind of week I think they're really going to be very nostalgic and this nostalgia is what's going to drive them to make something happen here the wheel of fortune so you see how the nostalgia is actually fueling this person to get in the driving seat and to start steering this um you know they're currently out at sea i feel this person is currently lost in their emotional depths they feel that they are busy trying to navigate their life trying to find what horizons they want to explore where they want to be what they want to do this person really struggles with choosing a direction sometimes i feel that they get lost very easily and when they're lost, they go back into this like emotionally withdrawn state and it's really difficult for you to know where you stand with them. But there's a change coming. The Wheel of Fortune always guarantees change of circumstances. And with that Six of Cups, I do feel that this time when you reconnect with this person, they're going to really try to change this connection show you that they have changed and it's like they believe that this connection is destined i feel like this person finally believes that there's no escaping you that no matter how long it's been or how big of a distance between you both they're going to continue to want this now we've got the two of swords so i do get a very strong feeling that you are not going to see this person approaching you know, this week they are busy planning their offer. They're busy, like, thinking about you, thinking about the past, thinking about how beautiful the future could be with you. They're just spending so much time thinking about this relationship. Um, and you may be feeling confused because you keep getting signs that this person's going to approach. Maybe they do reach out and then they pull back again. So you could be feeling a little bit confused this week, but that's okay because this is a week where you have the opportunity to balance yourself out and get back in that place of trust. Like 
I trust that my counterpart will approach me when they're ready. You know, that's a really good affirmation to use. Um, because with the Two of Swords, it's very easy for you to kind of start overthinking things. Um, when really what you need to do is just stay in that Queen of Pentacles energy. The more stable and grounded you are, the, the bigger the progress here, the bigger the steps. So this person's asked right at the start, are you going to listen to me? So let's see what it is that they will want to talk about. Four of Cups. So this person wants to talk to you about like where things haven't been going right in this connection. You know, they would definitely like to talk about their offer and what they are suggesting to move forward. But they also want to bring up a little bit about the past to try and reevaluate where there's been like um distance or where things haven't worked out here. So that four of cups, it's all like missed opportunities and reevaluating things. So they want to have a conversation to say like Let's talk about our connection. And they would really like you to listen to what they have to say about things rather than just maybe getting really upset or like trying to get your point across too much. They want to, they want you to hear them out. So guys, I'm going to keep going with this reading in an extended. So we're going to find out more about this conversation, what this person wants to say and more about what you can expect from them. So if you guys are resonating with this so far, check out the extended on my Patreon site, sacredspace.co.uk. Don't forget, June is the, the only month where you can sign up to my Patreon site and get your first month for free. And you can cancel at any time. So if you do want to sign up, get a month free and then cancel, that's completely fine. Just use the code June free when signing up to the Evolved tier and you can access everything. Check out the meditations, the yoga, etc. And also watch all the extendeds for free. So... Rather than buy in today's video, I definitely just do that. And if you do want to cancel, just cancel. Um, but I hope to see you guys over there for the rest of today's reading. And if not, I will be back here later this week with our weekend reading. And we've also got our daily tarot messages. So don't forget to check those out because I am loving doing those readings. Um, and there's something a little bit different. Just random messages come through for whatever we need to hear for the day. So have a lovely day, guys, and I will see you soon you know, bring this fantasy to life because I feel this person's been dreaming of you, thinking of you, seeing you everywhere, getting signs. For the extended version, visit www.sacredspace.co.uk. Click on the spirit section at the top of the page and find the video that you want to purchase. You can also filter by category and choose extended. Click purchase to buy this individual video or sign up to the Evolved tier for full access to the Sacred Space site.